YouTube um, here again. Um, firstly, I must apologise. Um, my throat is really, really bad, and I'm hoping that you'll be able to hear me. Um, it's been two weeks since uh, my last pickups video, and I really wanted to get this done this evening, but um, yeah, my throat's been really, really, really bad. Um, I didn't want to put it off any longer because. Uh, been hanging on to some of this stuff now for almost two weeks um, mainly because I put in an order over the bank holiday with CEX and by the end of that week uh, some items was, were missing I hadn't arrived um, fast forward another week and they still haven't arrived so I'm getting quite concerned now um, unfortunately CEX won't do anything uh, until 14 days from when they sent the invoice, not when the order was put in. And the invoice was sent out uh, three, was it three or four days after I put in the order? So I've still got to wait till uh, Thursday or Friday this week before I can uh, make a claim with them. Anyway, <coughs> well, uh, Swiftly move on. So the first thing I've got, um, these first few items are from that uh, from order from CEX. So I've picked up uh, another of these big sleeve editions. Um, I did order two. The other one uh, was Doctor Strange. Uh, was one of the items that uh, seems to have got lost. But this uh, Ant Man. Never really had much interest for this movie. I, I love the. Uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Um, this one, when I saw the trailer, I really didn't like what I saw, basically. And I've been putting this off with really no interest in, in, in watching it. But when I saw this, this edition, I really do like these big sleeve editions. And this was fairly cheap. So I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll, I'll get it. And at least I've seen it. And then I can, you know, say that I've got through all of the MCU movies um, I have to say it probably was better than I expected I pretty much went in with zero expectations and it was a really stupid it was a dumb movie for, for a Marvel movie I, I'm not going to say I didn't like it um, but it was really stupid um, but I, on the other side I like the way they tied it in to the uh, the other movies, you know, with some of the cameos with um, uh, Howard Stark and Agent Carter and uh, and so on, yeah, and Hawkman. I really did like the way that they, they tied that in. Um, but the mind control with the with the insects was ridiculous. It was stupid. Anyway, that aside. I've seen this one now, um, I don't know if I really need to see it again, um, but having said that, all of that, this is still a really cool edition, it's like all the other big sleeves. Uh, it's got this uh, gatefold, some okay artwork, this one's only two discs, whereas the, uh, the Force Awakens one I got was... Uh, was a three disc set and then like the others and then there's a bunch of art cards but I won't go into them at the moment yeah so <coughs> that's Ant Man it's not going to go back in there for now right uh, next a film I had never seen until the bank holiday weekend Eighties movie Cherry Two Thousand. I was aware of this movie. Um, I didn't really know what it was about. If I had known, I probably would have watched it sooner. I spotted this on Netflix, like I say, over the bank holiday weekend. Uh, I thought I'd give it a watch, and it was fantastic. I loved it, absolutely loved it. So I immediately I'd look online to see if I could find the Blu-ray and see X Heavy. It was only a fiver. Uh, yeah, so I'm really, really chuffed to have got that. Another one that I've been looking to get for a while, Exterminator 2. This is a 101 Films release. Um, yes, again, this was only a fiver, so 
I grabbed it. It doesn't seem to have had much of a price drop on there uh, on Amazon that one. So uh, yeah, I'm trusting for that. And then finally from this order of, of that uh, of the items that have actually turned up. Black Cats. This is the Arrow release, the box set with the two movie set and nice big booklet. I'm really chuffed to have finally got this. And um, from 88 Films, um, I picked up uh, the next three releases from the Italian collection. So firstly we have Body Puzzle. This comes with the uh, limited edition slip cover. Really, uh, I don't know what to say about this. I mean that is... I don't know if that's original artwork or, or what, but it's it's really really poorly made. Not the not the construction of the of the slip cover, but the, the bad Photoshop on the uh, on the picture. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. And then the next one. Perfume of the Lady in Black again with the limited edition slip cover, and finally the Long Hair of Death again. This is a much tighter slip cover. Um, yep, they all came from 88 Films, and because I ordered them together, got the free shipping, um, and I've got a little rant about that coming up. <laughs> oh, 88 films. Um, but yeah, because of these, um, they bolstered my school points. And they do a point system similar to what Arrow do. Um, but I had enough for a, a £15 gift voucher. So, with that voucher, my intention was to order this just before dawn. Again, limited edition slip cover. It's from the Slasher's collection, Slasher, oh, Slasher Classics collection. Um, this was twelve ninety nine. Now, eighty eight films charge two ninety nine postage uh, if your order is under thirty pounds. So that you know, I'll, I've got a fifteen pound voucher. Sixteen pounds with postage means I'm only going to have to pay a pound for this. You would think, but no, they will not let you put your voucher towards the postage. And they don't give you any of your voucher back if it's under the value. So this was twelve ninety nine, 99 uh, and I had a £15 voucher, which meant, in theory, I had £2 left. But they don't give you that back, they take it all. So, okay, I thought, I'll add something else to my cart to make it up to £30 and get free shipping and I'll use my voucher and it'll only cost me £15 not the one that you do that either you've got to have £30 payable items in your cart before they'll give you free shipping so you put £30 worth of Blu-rays, DVDs or whatever in your cart, you get free shipping. As soon as you add your voucher, it brings it down to £15 or you know, whatever it is underneath. Less than the amount you've got in your shopping cart, you lose your free shipping. You've got to have £30 worth of merchandise in your cart after you've added your voucher. Which means you've got to put 45 quid's worth of stuff it's ridiculous so I thought what the heck I got that and just to so I didn't lose the rest of my voucher this is one I've been wanting for a while it was a fiver um, so these two together after my voucher have cost me six quid in total so I can't really complain of that but I'm, it just at the time every time I tried to go to check out I couldn't understand why it wouldn't give me the free shipping it kept saying you know something in your uh, shopping cart has changed I thought no it hasn't anyway bad channels um, I really wanted this one because there's uh, 
<coughs> one of the full moon releases that 88 films uh, don't seem to have done yet is um, Doorman versus uh, what is it? Remember, and of course it's not there, is it? Uh, demon is it demonic toys? Yeah, demonic toys. Dollman versus demonic toys, which is obviously a sequel to Dollman and demonic toys. Um, and the full moon of it, the edition is region free, and it's available on Amazon. But it's also a sequel to this film, Bad Channels, one of the. I'd say one, there might be more, but at least one of the characters from this movie uh, appears in that movie. So I thought I'd get this one and then at least I've seen all three before I go on to uh, get another one. So yeah, that's bad channels. No Blu-ray release of that, unfortunately. But 88 Films have started releasing some of their DVD-only releases on Blu-ray recently. So... You never know, this might get a Blu-ray release at some point. Uh, and this next lot are all from CEX in-store rather than off uh, the website. Um, traded in a few more steelbooks, so these are all bought with vouchers. There's uh, no actual cash paid for any of these. So I grabbed True Blood, uh, the complete fifth season. Um, I've got the first three and the last Season 7, so we just need 4 and 6 now to complete that. And I've got the 3D release of Pompeii. The 3D release of Wrath of the Titans. 3D release of The Avengers. Uh, watch this this afternoon. Um, Huntsman Winter's War. It was okay. Um, I don't think it was as good as the first one, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, got the fifth wave. Hard target. <laughs> I do like the old 90s Van Damme movies. Um, I do recall this being a pretty decent film, and it wasn't a bad film, but it's dated now. I mean, it's 20 years old, um, and some of the choices the uh, the director. It's a John Woo movie, but some of the uh, the choices the director made in uh, in stylizing this movie they uh, don't hold up now. But uh, yeah, it was still it was still a good fun. And another 3D got the original Thor movie, and. Another slipcover HMV limited edition for the collection of another version of Shaun of the Dead. And then finally from CX uh, Rupture. This was a complete blind buy um, and I only got it because of New Era Peace. Um, she played the, uh, the girl in the, the Dragon Tattoo trilogy um, and for the most part the stuff that she's done since then including those films I really really do like those films um, but the other stuff she's done has been pretty good so I thought I'd give this a try and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it I mean, it's a fairly low budget uh, sci-fi thriller but um, yeah it was it was good then uh, these come from cash converters for a pound each and I got Dad's Army. I haven't watched this one yet. And Seventh Son again. I haven't watched that one yet. Uh, and then finally <laughs> some uh, eBay buys. Uh, these are two arrow releases. Um, one of which is, was, is, was very, very high on my wish list and just haven't been able to pick up um, pretty much because one of the rarity and two, the ridiculous amount of money that people ask for it. But firstly, uh, 
finally got a copy of House by the Cemetery, the uh, non-window box three disc edition. There is a is there a two or a one disc edition. There might be a one disc edition that's available now with the new style artwork. But I do like these older releases with the the white border. I've been picking a few of those up quite recently, uh, and there's still a few more that I like to get. But um, yeah, I'm really chuffed I've got this, and I got it for a really good price as well. The last few of these I've, I've uh, followed on eBay, they've gone twenty pound plus, which is a lot more than I really want to pay for this one. Um, but I paid less than a tenner for this, so I was, uh, yeah, I was really happy. And finally, oh wow, I'm so so pleased to have finally got this. Um, Boy, did it cost some money. Um, not as much as I've seen them go for. Uh, in fact, this is was the cheapest I've seen for a very, very long time. So I finally got the window box edition of Zombie Flesh Eaters. And this is actually factory sealed, brand new. I started collecting these Arrow window boxes back in 2013. And I pretty much got the whole set fairly quickly. Um, at that time, they were readily available, and the likes of Amazon uh, and Zavi were knocking them out at you know, five, six, seven, eight pounds for, for the most part. So I was picking them up quite cheaply. I think there was only two that I had to actually pay more than a tenner for at the time. And I think it took me less than two months to get all but a few. Uh, and then I picked those off individually thereafter. But this one I never did get um, while I was paying five, six, seven, eight pounds or thereabouts for the others. These were regularly, well, not regularly, but from time to time selling on eBay 20, 25, even 30 pounds. And at that time, I'm not sure whether I was aware of how rare this was back then. But I wasn't going to pay that kind of money for it. <laughs> I've paid nearly double that now. Um, and I think this is probably one of the most expensive items as far as money paid in my collection. But yeah, I'm really, really chuffed to have got this. It, uh, it completes now that uh, window box collection. I have every single one. Um, for a long time I didn't think I was ever going to get this because the prices just kept going up and up and up and I saw them selling for over a hundred pounds and I thought oh, I'm never going to pay anything like that for it and luckily um, this one was on auction and only one other person bid on it and I think they bid maybe a pound or two over the starting bid um, they, did they even, they might have even just been the starting bid. Anyway, I got it for a couple of quid over the starting bid, and then the post on top of that. Yeah, so very, very pleased. Finally got this in the collection. Um, I don't need to open it because um, I do have. So that said, I have the steelbook edition, which I can watch, but again, that's not ideal. Um, Getting in and out of that case because of the uh, the J card. Those steel books have those very, very, very delicate. The arrow steel books have those delicate J cards on them. Um, so at some point, I still need to get a just a regular Amray version, um, which they do do like this one with the uh, with the white border. Um, so I'll probably pick that up at some point. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, yeah, I was really excited when I got that. Anyway. That's it, that's uh, pickups for the last almost two weeks. Um, I don't know of anything else that's coming. Um, there is something I've got pre-ordered but doesn't come out till after next weekend. Um, I don't know about anything else. Um, I mean most of this stuff hasn't actually cost me any cash money. Um, apart from the eBay stuff and the uh, cash converts, but most of the 
CEX stuff was bought with vouchers. That said, this alone has <laughs> blown the budget for quite a few weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably have a bit of a rest as far as the internet goes this week. Um, probably do charity shops um, on Friday. Maybe see if there's anything there. Just have a a cheap week. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Cheers now. Ta-ra.